Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b squared, this is equal to 8. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that a times b, this is equal to 3. Let's call this equation 2. Now, what is the value of a plus b? So let's provide a solution from here. From equation 1, which is a squared minus b squared, this is equal to 8. So this equation is the difference of two squares that we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b, this is equal to 8. The next step is that we can square both sides so that we have a plus b times a minus b squared. This is equal to 8 squared, which is equal to 64. So a plus b times a minus b to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a plus b squared multiplied by a minus b squared. This is equal to 64. Now, a plus b to the power of 2. This is in the form of x plus y raised to the power of 2, which we can express as x squared plus y squared, then plus 2xy. Now we have a minus b to the power of 2. This is in the form of x minus y to the power of 2, which we can express as x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. So applying these two algebraic identities, then we have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab multiplying by a squared plus b squared plus 2ab this is equal to 64 which you can write this as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab multiplying by a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, this is equal to 64. But we have that a times b, this is what you have in equation 2 here, which is equal to 3. So let's substitute 3. We have a squared plus b squared plus 2 times 3. And then here we have a squared plus b squared minus 2 times 3. This is equal to 64. So this means we have a squared plus b squared plus 3 times 2. This is 6. And here we have a squared plus b squared minus 6. This is equal to 64. The next step is that we have a squared plus b squared. We can categorize this as x, and we have that 6 is the same thing as y. So that now, this is actually in the form of x plus y, multiplying by x minus y, which we can express as x squared minus y squared. Now, expressing this in the form of x squared minus y squared, then we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. Then subtract 6 squared. This is equal to 64. So here this is a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 minus 6 squared, which is 36. Then this is equal to 64. So let's take minus 36 on the right hand side so that we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 64, plus 36. And this implies that we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 64 plus 36, which is equal to 100. So to solve for a squared plus b squared, we introduce a square root sign on both sides, so that we have square root of a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 100.
So this implies that we can eliminate the square root sign here so that we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 100, which is 10. So this means that we have two values of a squared plus b squared, which is equal to 10. And we have that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 10. Now we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now, this means that a squared plus b squared, we can start with a squared plus b squared, which is 10. So let's substitute 10 here. Then plus 2 multiplied by a times b. a times b is equal to 3. So we have here, this is 10 plus 3 times 2, which is 6. And therefore we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 10 plus 6, which is equal to 16. So to solve for a plus b here, we introduce square root on both sides so that we have the square root of a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. We can simplify here and eliminate the square root sign here so that we have a plus b. This is equal to, we have plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4. So this is the fact, we have that a plus b, this is equal to positive 4. And again, we have a plus b, this is equal to minus 4. Now, we have that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 10. Now, given that a plus b to the power of 2, this is the same thing as a squared plus b squared, then plus 2ab. Substituting the value of a squared plus b squared here, this is the same thing as minus 10 plus 2, multiplying by a times b. a times b here is equal to 3. So this implies that here we have minus 10 plus 3 times 2, which is 6. And therefore, here we have minus 10 plus 6. This is minus 4. And therefore, we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to minus 4. Now, to solve for a plus b here, we introduce a square root on both sides so that you have the square root of a plus b to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 4. So this implies that we can eliminate the square root sign here. So that's a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 4. This is the same thing as 4 times minus 1. And therefore, we have that a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4. This is 2. The square root of minus 1. This is i. And therefore, we have that a plus b. This is equal to 2i. And we also have a plus b. This is equal to minus 2i. So this implies that we have that a plus b, this is equal to plus or minus 4. And we have that a plus b is equal to plus or minus 2i. And this is the solution to this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video. And kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.